In this demonstration, I will show you how to model a radial turbine with a venous volute using the Fourier transformation method. The transient rotor stator option will be used to model the fluid behavior at the impeller volute sliding interface. In this part, I will introduce the case's geometry and set up the transient blade row simulation in CFX Pre. At this point, I have specified the domains, interfaces, and physics settings pertaining to this problem. The geometry is a radial turbine with a veinless volute. The volute has been specified as a stationary domain with an inlet. On the other hand, the turbine impeller has been specified as a rotational domain with an outlet. The volute breaks the rotational symmetry of the machine by varying wall distance from the turbine. This generates an asymmetric flow, which is described by this animation of the pressure contour plot. The asymmetric variations in the flow can only be captured through a transient analysis. However, a full wheel transient simulation on this case is computationally expensive. Instead, the flow can be efficiently modeled by using the Fourier transformation transient blade row method. Using this method, I only need to simulate two impeller blades. I will set the analysis type to transient blade row and add the volute to rotor domain interface. This is a fluid-fluid interface. The first side encompasses the two passage inflow regions of the impeller domain. The opposite side region will be defined as the volute outlet. To model the frame change, I will use the transient rotor stator model. This model should be used any time it is important to account for transient interaction effects at a sliding interface. Now I will set my transient blade row method to Fourier transformation. The Fourier transformation method provides results which conform well to a transient analysis of the entire turbine geometry, but are computationally less intensive since only a fraction of the bladed row is modeled. This significantly reduces the node count resulting in faster convergence. This is especially true when the number of impeller blades in the turbine configuration is large. The sampling domain interface setting specifies the interface between two blades of a single component on which the Fourier coefficients will be accumulated. Phase correction at side 2 is not needed since the entire volute geometry is taken into consideration at each time step. Using the passing period option, I will have the time period specified for the rotational domain. The impeller period will be divided into 45 time steps per passing period and 27 periods will be analyzed. With my analysis settings specified, I will specify some output controls. To analyze the flow and to describe its transient behavior, I will set two monitor points on either side of the impeller volute interface. The first will be set near the inlet of the impeller passage in order to capture the one per revolution variation in pressure as the impeller rotates about its axis. The second monitor point will be located on the volute side of the interface in order to capture the impeller passing periods. The specifications of the second monitor point has been skipped, but we can see both locations on the geometry. I have also specified monitors to collect instantaneous and time average data on the expansion ratio, flow rate, and efficiency for the entire machine. These monitors will provide me with the information needed to evaluate the machine's aerodynamic performance. This concludes part one of this video series. In part two, I'll show you the results of this simulation.